A knife and a sensor. I take those. Okay. I, um. Yeah, that's what I do. I take. Okay. Anything magic y within 30 feet of me? Um. Uh, where are you? Um. Yes. Oh! Mm. What's up, magic y? To the south. Is that, is that Shawler? Uh, yes. I'm trying to figure out what those squiggly lines are. You drew uh, uh, curtains, I think. Maybe. I think you said that there were curtains. Yeah, curtains. Okay, so through through the curtains, the other side of the curtains. What school of magic, may I ask? Is it divination? Divination. Hmm. It's not divination through the curtains. Maybe it's like a thing that can detect magic. <laughs> like me? Well. I don't know. Do you register yourself when you use magic as something that can detect magic? I'm not going to say yes, but I'm also not going to say no. You just can't tell. I can't tell. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'm going to poke my head through the curtain real quick and look and see if I see anything. No. The high, I'm narrow there, hall yes. looks as if it might have been part of a chapel or shrine at one time. Angelic figures are sculpted along the room's upper reaches, looking down on the floor below. To the north, which is where you're sticking your head through, mm -hmm. heavy curtains block a matching pair of archways. Between the archways is a cracked but ornately carved stone brazier, which is the circle thingy. Okay. Um, first, I would like to do a religion check to see if I know what god this temple was made for. Well, well are you just stuck your head through? Are you actually going to go in? Oh, yeah, I'll go ahead. Okay. Are you both going in? Yeah, if he's going in, I'm not going to not go in. Okay. I'm going to go in right. the other so, one. Okay. And then the goat will be behind. Good call. Uh, why don't you guys make me perception checks? As we peek our heads. Well, I'm saying you guys are already. Oh, yeah. No, we're done. We're definitely. Uh, 13. Mm, 16. I love when they tell you to do stealth checks and then I don't actually give it a stealth. Uh, I guess it's just dex. What was yours? Uh, 16. 13. Okay. Um, un you know, you guys are walking into the room. Things seem fine. And uh, roll for initiative. Mm, 7. 20. Okay, but you are surprised. Mm. Yeah, I take an alert. Only even though I'd never be surprised. Good thing. So, it's your turn. You can't do anything. Nothing, because I'm surprised. And from the rafters leaps a green creature, worm like creature with a beak and tentacles sprayed out from its face. Ugh. Uh, looks like that. Oh, man! Uh, and it leaps just... as if on a mission. Straight for Theron. Oh. No, that's you! <laughs> that is me! Oh, I don't like this at all. And it makes an attack with its tentacle face. Oh, oh man. This is the worst kind of anime. Uh oh, 22. Uh oh. Yikes. You take. Ho oh, ho ho ho, that turned into a 6. You take 14 points of damage. Oh, glad I healed. And it latches on with its tentacles and uses its bird-like beak to make a secondary attack. Mm-hmm. For a miss. Good. Uh, and then it goes to you, and you can't do anything to surprise. And now it goes to Flint. All right. Just so you know, this thing is about the size of, like, a dog. So, yeah. Actually, it's medium, so it's Is it currently size. latched onto my face? Uh, it's latched onto you, yes. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be your face. That's good. I'd rather his tentacles are on him. Get it off of me! You get it off of you! I will! 
I'm going to attack it with my axe. For a 25. That's a hit. Let's try this. That's a good one. Eight damage. Okay. Uh, I call it a disparaging name. What, what name? It's head clown? It seems unfazed. Oh. It goes to attack uh, you. But me? No, not you. No, not me. And it misses. Mm. So your turn. Great. Uh, it, it is currently latched on to me? Yes. It's not It's not like a grapple check. But no. It's actually, it's it's not. Because if it hits you, then it gets a free shot. So ah. now, now it's not. It's just next to you. Good. Well, in that case, the goat is going to attack it. Uh, and the goat is going to get a 14. That's a hit. All right. Good job, goat. And that will be for 8 damage. Go, okay. goatee. But then I'm going to attack it. Yeah. Anger. Nice. Nice. Uh, 22. All right. Oh, yeah. And that's 14 damage. Okay. Still hanging in there. All right. And it just looks angry, and it's like frothing and spitting, and... It doesn't. Eat, it's not even paying any attention to Flint. It only is after you, mm. as if it was hellbent to do so. I feel as though I've been cursed. I feel like you might have been. Take me more. Yeah. Axe. Shit. Eleven. Miss. Oh, it gets to go. Sixteen, so this is Go. Nope. Me. Hey, there we go. Twenty-two again. Hit. Oh, fourteen nice. damage. And it is that. Ah stupid thing. I'm gonna kick it. Nice sword work. Thanks. You did some good stuff there. Yeah. Right? How you hit it? That's good. With the stab With the, down? Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. Ugh, I like this thing's it. gross. Do you see it biting me? Yeah, I didn't like that. Ugh. You want to go on a little well, sure, yeah. Yeah. I got a text message. Um, yeah, I'm going to cure some wounds. Okay. There's a D8 plus my spell cast. Yeah. Shaboom! Five! Yeah! I Just feel, for you, bud. I feel like I'm going to take my last potion also. God. <laughs> oh. Damn. Two ones. How much uh, health do you have? Uh, I am now at 27. Okay. So, I, I lay a hand on myself before we went in there. That's a good call. Yeah. Um, not that it matters, but that was Lupo's pet. Hmm. What up, bitch? Okay. Right, so I go get the magic thing. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Or I walk over to the magic thing? So, the chapel's uh, decor, you can make me a uh, inte- uh, religion check. Hmm. As you were mentioning before. Dicks. I don't know. What'd you get? Two. Five. How did you get a five? I rolled a one. A one. Oh, no, sorry. I rolled a one on the d20, a two on the d4, and I have a two for my religion. I have a minus one for religion, and I rolled a two. Well, then, uh... I don't know anything about it. We don't know shit! (laughs) You guys can't determine what gods are worshipped here. Is it... Maybe, maybe it's the same god as back there. I doubt it, because it seems like they took over this castle, and these are all angelic. Oh. And that is a god of goblins. Mm. So, I... I am going to take the... What did you say? I have a goblin knife and a... Chalice. What was the third, was the third thing? Censor. 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 Yeah, the, mm. yeah. A divining rod. I am That's going to take the golden... Pineapple sensor. The, um... Knife? Uh, I like that idea. Chalice? Yeah, chalice. I'll go with the golden chalice. And I'm going to put it in the brazier and as a sacrifice to Maestra. Thanks for the magic. You're a cool lady. Uh... Sacrifices to you. The stone brazier contains a mound of coal. Um, I blow on the coal. Buried underneath is a gold statuette of a sun elf. So there's an elf statue that's made out of gold in there, wrapped in a crimson cloth. Um, 
Oh, and this is the thing that's glowing with the detect magic. Oh, okay. Um, playing mage hand. Mm. Is it hot coals? It's, it's it's no, it's not. It's no. uh, it's in its divination magic. All right, I take it. Okay. Um, I'll just say because it's divination magic, and I feel like that makes sense. Um, you. Yeah, any non-evil creature grasping the statue can ask it a question and receive a telepathic response as if they had cast the augury spell. Hmm. So you should look up what that does. Yeah, uh, I'm going to save it for later. Okay. I don't think we need that now. What is the meaning of life? What does augury have to do? <laughs> 42. Yeah. Uh, augury. Well, Two twenty-five each for the Grick. Mm -hmm. XP, that is. You receive an omen from an otherworldly entity about the results of a specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. The DM chooses from the following possible omens. Wheel for good results. Or results. Woe for bad results. Wheel and woe well for good and bad. And nothing for results that aren't especially good or bad. Uh, spell doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as casting additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. If you cast this spell two or more times before completing your next long rest, there is a 25% cumulative chance uh, blah, 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 you'll get a wrong reading. Oh. Alright. Okay, so where are you guys headed to next? Uh, there are two doors out. There's the one that goes back out and then down that you came in, or like back out to the front yeah, and right. then down what do you think? the other ways, or back out to the other area. There. Well, we could go check that other room out. Right, we'll go check that other room out. So you're going this way? Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. And then we're going to go in through this door, I suppose. You guys make me deck saving throw. Ha. Ah. No. Two. Fourteen. Ah, uh, you clip a trip wire. Shit. And uh, rubble and heavy stone beams from the ceiling fall down, and I. Uh, Therein, you take seven damage, mm. and you take three. Ow! Shit! And you feel a loss as though, had things gone differently, you think you might have felt more experienced in your travel had that not been tripped. Did you feel that too? No, I felt rocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I felt like kind of rocks, but not so bad. All right. So you guys are going this way now? Down? Sure. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, what's in this room here that we just... Oh, yes. oh, oh that's right. I forgot that. Should go right in there. Uh -huh. The western portion of this large hall ends in a wall of rubble, but the remainder is still intact. This must once have been a castle's banquet hall... With a, with a soaring ceiling 25 feet high. Two large wooden tables with plain benches stand in the middle of the room, and a brass brazier full of glowing coals is tucked into one corner. Dirty dishes, half-full stew pots, moldy heels of bread, and gnawed bones cover the table. Um, Goatsy, don't eat the rotten food. Mm, goat will just do whatever it wants. In, that in that room, there are seven... Miserable looking goblins and a fat, boisterous goblin that seems to be their leader, who is also a cook. Uh, but they are ready for you guys. To do what? When you enter, they're not like caught off guard uh, because of the rocks falling. Sure, yeah, that's fair. So, uh, roll for initiative. Six. 
Uh, 13. Mm. All right. Nice. There you go. Is it a seven? Yes. Six. Seven miserable, like, base goblins and one fat leader goblin. Fat He's no lupo. All right. Uh, I am going to... Decimate them. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to cast uh, a spiritual weapon. Okay. Um, and, well, first thing I'm going to do is write about dark. Mm-hmm. Spiritual weapon, which will be represented by this die. Okay. This is my spiritual weapon, and it is in the form of a trident, obviously. Of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to attack uh, one of the regular goblins. Okay. Shaboom, shaboom. How do I do that? I think it just uses your spell attack. Yeah, spell attack. Nope, misses. Misses. Okay. Critically. All right. Well then, Darren. Ah, can my goat run 20 feet straight at somebody? Yes, it can. Oh, great. Then it's going to charge at one of those goblins. Okay. Uh, 19 on the roll. That's it. All right. And so regular damage, which is going to be... 10 plus damage, church damage, it's, it's, which is another 9. 19. Well, it's very dead. It's it dead. flying against the wall. Yeah, go see. He'll end up over there. I'm going to charge uh, another one of those miserable looking goblins. Okay. Good call. Do, do, do. Uh, 21. That's it. <laughs> uh, 10 damage. Also dead. Ha! Nice! Nice! Okay, so now it's their turn. And the fat leader goblin is yelling at them to stop being lazy and fight you guys. So they are going to attack with some bows. Short bows. Uh, I said you killed two, so there's six. Um, so two of them say. Two of them would hit, so one, I'll just do it one and one. All right. Uh, Sean, you take eight damage. Okay. Jake, you take five. All right. And then Fatty McFat Fat comes over to Jake because he's closest. Goes to hit him with a frying pan. Ah. And he misses. Good. Frying pans are dangerous. dangerous. Yes. If I've, if I've, I've seen tangles. See, ah. Ah, tangled. Tangled. Flint. I know. I got it. Ah, all right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to run up. Boom. I'm going to jump on the table and do a cool, like, jump off the table. And, uh, <laughs> nice. Green flame blade, one of the miserable guys, and hopefully, does he have a friend? Sure. Yeah. I'm going to green flame blade him, and hopefully I also have his friend. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I got a 20. Yeah, and a 5. Yep. And he's going to take 12 he is dead. damage. His friend takes 4 oh. fire damage. And then my floating trident of doom is going to attack the guy who just took 4 damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that'll be a 25. That's a hit. Nice. And he is going to take... Mm, yeah, seven. And then B is dead as, as well. Nice. <laughs> step, step. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Goat is going to attack uh, one of those. Is there a guy he can run 20 feet? And it, no, not that time. No, he'll just attack whoever then. That's fine. Um, and that will be a 14. That is a hit. All right. So he's in bows. Yeah. And he is going to do eight damage. There's another one dead. Nice. Yeah, go see. Uh, how many does that leave? That's two left. Uh, I killed two, and he's killed three. Three, yeah. yeah. So two left. And then the main guy. And the main guy who attacked me and is now going to be attacked by me uh, with a 24. That's a hit. All right. And that will be for 10 damage. He is still alive. Ah. Does he feel fantastic? No. He feels and he's still alive. pain, mostly. Pain, mostly. Pain. With that love. <laughs> Alright, they all miss. Great. Woo! Back to Flint. Oh, um, I'm gonna try and take out the, the two remaining lesser goblins. Okay. 
So one will get Reef and Aid. Yep. <laughs> Critical miss. Okay. And the other one, or that same one, is going to get Trident. There's, I'm going to attack him with my Trident. There. Ten. Miss. Hmm. Go, will uh, attack the Chief Goblin from me uh, with a 14. That is a hit. Right. No. Oh. Yeah, no, he doesn't have a shield. He's just ah. got a fine fan. Yeah, good. He deserves to die. Yeah, we're uh, 15 damage. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Good wow. job, Go. Coach is awesome. Maxing out damage. He's way better than me with a level <laughs> 2 spell active. Uh, I will attack one of the other guys, and that will be a 9. That is a miss. Yeah. So there's two guys left, right? Two regular goblins we decided. Mm-hmm. Yep. One gets a natural 20. Uh-huh. And the other one got a 19. With a bow? Uh, oh, you know what? That's one attack then. So that's uh, 19. Double 20. Just kidding. Uh, no! <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Uh, so the one's going to shoot the goat. Yeah! Because he recognizes that the goat does the most damage. <laughs> yeah, he is. He, is. Right here. he does six damage to the goat. Oh, no. Uh, and now it's plus turn. That's okay. That's the first damage um, the goat is taken. It's a bag of tricks. Yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna go out and kill a limb and guess Pat's not coming in there. Uh, yeah. It's a yeah. safe limb. Yeah. Sturdy. Sturdy. Yeah. Um, Lowest limb. Yeah. Uh, action attack. 15? Hit. Yeah. Right. And that's gonna be 9 damage. Is that. Is there anything else? Is there one more guy? There's one more guy. There's one more guy. He's gonna get a trident attack for 14. That's it. Nice. And 20. 20. No, 10. 10. 10 damage. 20 damage. Uh, they are dead as well. Ah! Ah! No one can withstand trident damage. <laughs> ah! Uh, there, that's, do. that's, that, that's 200 XP each. Nice. Yeah. All right, so that was the uh, the banquet hall there. Where to next? Um, hmm. To me healing myself. Seems to be a lot of that going around. Yeah. Hey, how about that? For now? Nice. And then... Is there any loot on these guys? Frying pan. Frying pan? I'll take it. Oh, it's good to have a frying pan. It's good pan. to have a frying pan. No bore me. Really but useful. We'll take it. If you go to Arendelle, all the guardsmen have frying pans. Yeah. It's true. It's what I've heard. Yeah. So it looks like you guys. There's not there's basically just the kind of the eastern side of the castle left yeah. really at this point. And the I'll tell you. I'll just tell you out front. There's no reason to uh, to go like out outside there. All right. Um, we, is there anything over here that we should check out? Uh, no. It's just uh, the barracks for the goblins. All right. Cool. That you guys already killed. Through here. Sure. Why not? All right. So you're going through into kind of the rubbly area. Rubbly area. Mm. Uh, nothing until nothing in there. It's just kind of an open space. You can keep going. Further, because there's there's the door off of there, that one, and then a curtain to the north. Hmm. Do we want to go peek through the curtain? Yeah, we might be love a curtain. Huh? Peek stealthily this through the curtain. Down. This tower has almost completely collapsed, although the ground floor still has a little open space. Hmm. Rotting crates and ancient barrels show that provisions were once stored here. A heavy curtain blocks the crumbling area to the south, which is where you guys are looking through. And an intact door leads east. To the north, a short passage through the rubble ends before a screen of canvas. Hmm. There's nobody over there. I said, let's go through this other door. Let's do it. All right, great. Going through the side one there? Yeah. Send the goat in first this time. After we check for traps. If we, even though we didn't earn that experience, we got some experience. Three to help you look for traps. A stone brazier. There's no traps. There's no traps. A stone brazier full of coals glows in the middle of this small barrel. <coughs> Four straw pallets are lined up along the east wall. The walls to the south have collapsed, but a barred wooden door in the direction in that direction is still clear. A curtain hangs in an archway to the north. 
Mm-hmm. And in the room, there is two hobgoblins as looking as if they are standing guard. But well, we're gonna attack. We're gonna attack. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you! I'm gonna say what? I'm gonna stab him. Good call. Yeah. It's a good distraction. Go ahead and uh, roll for initiative. Oh, my. my initiative is good though. Fourteen. Ten, which is pretty good for me tonight. Oh. So one runs at the goat. Good. And the other one takes off running to the north. Oh no. To the, go through that door up there. Yeah. Is he gonna make it all the way there? Uh, yeah. He's got. He's. They're right. Yeah. Like you guys walked right in the room, and they're pretty much like right there. Mm. Yeah. So he'll get in there. Uh, the guy's gonna attack the goat. Let's go, Stacy. Ah, uh, twelve. That is a hit on the goat. Ah, uh, poor goat. It doesn't die. It's a good goat. He's been good so far. Yeah. I still got two more. See two damage. Ah, goat's doing fine. He's a giant goat, so he's better than that. Uh, the guy who went towards the door, is he at the door? Is he through the door? He's through the door. He's through the door. Do I see him? Mm, is he gone? He's gone. There's a door shut behind him. The door shut behind him. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Well, let's kill this other guy. Let's kill this other guy. I attack him with my axe. Do you still be spiritual with it? It only lasts a minute. Ah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, criticalness. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, the goat's going to attack him if he's going to attack the goat. The goat gets a 20. goat gets a hit. <laughs> yeah, good job, goat. Uh, and he is going to do 8 damage. Wow. All right. The guy's hanging in there, but he's hurting. All right. Well, I am going to follow my goat with an 11. A miss. That's okay. Because my goat's and there. He's going to swing right back at the goat. No. <laughs> with a 16. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. For 7 damage. Bah. And that is his turn. Don't you fucking hit that goat. Don't you hit that goat. Natural 20! With my axe. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, 18. He only had two health. So he is crazy dead. And there's a blood... There's a blood silhouette on the wall from... Where his body used to be. See? You should. You got a lot of See? blood on you. What do you mean? You got some blood like on your face and Press stuff. Press the digit. Ah, you look much better now. It's the power of Mistra, man. Fucking magic rules. Um, at this point, this is what I was thinking. Um, since we know that a goblin, a hobgoblin, went in there, mm-hmm. uh, but we have this little statue that can tell the future. Yeah. I was gonna use it to ask what what would happen if we go through that door. Sure. Does that I, sound I, Whether or not we get ambushed coming through the door? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it seems like a reasonable time. I mean, it's not like a super awesome spell that will like, tell no, you the specifics but like, I mean, and stuff. If it, if it shows up, what was it? Wheels are bad? Yeah. Whoa. Wheel woe is, is good. Woe is bad. Wheel and woe is good if, and bad. If it shows up well, then uh, we... Else. While, while you guys are sitting here discussing this, yeah. that hobgoblin comes back out of the room and comes running at you. Ha! Ah, great. Well, it. Yeah. Go see. Well, how's the uh, initiative work? Well, we'll just say it's the, it's your turn because it would have been your turn. Oh, great. Well, the goat is going to see him and he's going to charge. Five, ten. Oh, he's only going to charge 15, which is not going to be enough for him to get a full charge. Go down. Uh, but he's going to do 21. <laughs> um, and he is going to do 6 damage. Oh. All right. Uh, the guy stopped running. Sure. Because he got hit. Uh, the goat. I am also going to attack him. Do with, non-lethal damage. With a, with a nine. So oh. that's, I'm going to not do... I'm going to do not lethal damage because I'm not going to do any. That's true. Uh, he got a 19 to hit the goat. Oh. Poor goat. He's doing all right. He's going to do seven damage to the goat. <sighs> Again. He's still he's still alive. He's hanging in there. He's bloody and whatnot. But he's a giant goat. And yeah. You got to remember that. Oh, that's true. He's not just any regular old goat. I'm going to try and hit him with my axe with non-lethal damage. Thirteen. Doesn't miss. 
The goat is going to try and hit him with non-lethal damage. Oh, nine. I am going to try and hit him with that non-lethal damage. Uh, Nineteen. That's it. All right. Uh, and that is going to be eleven damage. That is, um... Non-lethal. Of non-lethal damage. Um, I know. I'm trying to figure out. Because it's actually more health than he had at max. Ah. Oh. Eleven? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and they have like ten health. Okay. So... Um, I mean, I guess if you, if you, sure, you can knock him out right out front of the door where he just came running from. All right. I shut the door. I mean, the door is shut. He shut it behind him. Oh, okay. Cool. Good. Hmm. wonder what he was does doing it, Does there. it open out or in? Mm. Out. Is there a latch? Oh, uh, no. There's no latch. Darn. I mean, it technically should open in, not that I think about it, but it's fine. Alright, um, I was gonna say we should wake him up and ask him why I went out of the room, and then came right back. He's probably asked his friends to do something. Mm. Or he told also... them that there was intruders, but, you know, do... I you mean... guys also, you still also have that other room to the south, too. Just to your, in case you forgot. Right. Well, he could be telling his leaders so that they can run away. We should pursue with haste. All right. Send the goat in. All right. Should we kill this guy? Probably. Yeah, kill this guy. Okay, he's dead. All right, great. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to rush in. Go and see first. Yeah, go first. The chamber has been set up as a crude living space with thick furs thrown on the floor to serve as carpets, old trophies hanging on the walls, a large bed to the north, and a brazier of coals burning brightly. A round table with several chairs stands to the south near the door. Near the table on the floor is an unconscious dwarf who looks badly beaten. Shit! In the room is a a bugbear. A fierce looking old bugbear. A wolf. And a female drow. Mm Mm-hmm. Black Widow. Spider. What the fuck? What? Okay, so. Um, so, yeah. What do you do? I guess you roll, roll for initiative. Twenty. One. to go now. I look at the bug and say, don't move! <laughs> and it does anyway. Damn, that never works. Never works? Freeze! Uh, Alright, so the bug bear... Van Delver P- P- <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Alright, so... Let's see if it says anything. Does Van Delver show with an F or a P-A-P? I think it's a P-A-P. P-A-P. So P-P-D? P-P-D. Van Delver P-D. <laughs> Just trying to see if there's any useful information. Um, 
Okay, he uh, sends the wolf forward to attack the goat. Oh, they're not natural enemies. Yeah. Wolves and goats. Wolves and goats. Yeah. Starks and what happened? And the wolf misses. Great. And he also tells the uh, the drow to attack. He tells the drow to attack. Yes. Oh. He was in charge. I guess so. Mm. So the drow moves forward to attack Theron. Ah. What kind of weapons does this drow have? That is a good question. Excuse me. Oh, that tasted weird. Mm. My like a weird combination of donut and nacho. Mmm. Yeah. That actually sounds okay. It wasn't okay. No. No. Um, Xander. I guess the dagger. Don't actually have anything written here. Uh, Eighteen. Ah, darn. Everybody hits me. You take eight damage. Eight damage. Xander. Darn. That hurt a lot more than I was Xander. expecting it to. Uh, I and say. then he Ow. lumbers forward, but he doesn't make it to you guys. He walks forward with his big club. Hmm. Now it is Theron's turn. Okay, great. Well, uh, first thing that's going to happen is the goat is going to attack the wolf. Okay. Uh, the goat is going to get a 22. The goat's going to hit the wolf. All right, and the goat is going to do 12 damage to the wolf. Okay, the wolf is still standing. All right. Um... I am going to attack the wolf, as we should eliminate one thing in their rotation if possible. Like it? Okay. Uh, one. What? Is the drow next to the wolf? Yes. I am going to attack the drow with my blade! That is a... Uh, 21. Hit. The drown is going to take six axe damage, and then the wolf will take four fire damage. Okay. Uh, wolf is dead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo. It smells like barbecue wolf in here. Uh, you know. You know. Uh, so is the internet. We can eat the wolf, too. Okay. Yeah. So now it goes we to the face. bugbear. Dog it lumbers dog. over to the goat because it killed his pet wolf. Oh, no. I killed his pet Don't kill my the goat. goat. Killed its pet wolf. Oh, no. It goes over to Flint. Shit. Oh, no. It's enemy. And it has a 20 to hit. That's a hit. That's you know what I miss? Not getting it. Shield. Shield. <laughs> Right, it's going to do 11 damage. Okay. That's how. Uh, and then it's the brow's turn. And it's going to miss. Great. Which brings it back to me. Yeah. Right, well, the goat, who is not currently engaged with anyone, is going to move back 20 feet and then charge forward at the drow 20 feet. All right. Okay. And 21. That's a hit. All right. So that is 11, uh, 16 damage. Non-lethal if possible. Well, it doesn't go drag. down, so. But if, if possible. Um, I am going to attack the drow as well uh, with a 15. That is a hit. Ah. Not lethal if it's lethal at all. Uh, with eleven. Uh, it's still up. Ah, darn that drow. Back to foot. Upward. Um, miss. Hmm. Oh, and it needs uh, the drow needs to make a DC thirteen strength check to not be knocked prone. Fourteen. Are the drown and bug bear within five feet? Mm, yeah, we're there. Alright, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast uh, Healing Word on myself. Mm -hmm. 
and heal five. All right. Prick, Sean. Um, and then green blood blade on the bugbear. Green blood blade. Uh, seventeen. Hit. Nice. All right. Bugbear to. Is it made out of wood? No. No. What is it? Um, it, it takes uh, 11 axe damage, and then the drought takes 4 fire damage. Okay. I really like where you find the Yeah, yeah. it's worked out pretty Now well. it's the bugbear's turn. It's a pretty solid candy. And it's going to swing at Flint again. <sighs> Lucky. That was a 20 for a half a second. Ooh. I don't like that. Uh, and they both miss. All right. Alright, um, so the uh, goat is not going to charge this time. It's just going to attack with a 20. Natural? No. Uh, 15 on the roll, 20. Okay. Right, uh, for 6 damage, non-lethal. Okay. Nice. Um, then I'm going to attack the drow as well. And that's a 17 on the roll, so that's a 23. Okay. And that's gonna be eight damage. Okay. Non lethal. But okay. certainly this thing's to this dry out is a lot of health. And uh that bad. is uh your turn. Uh free fun blade. Okay. Natural, Natural twenty! Damage. Does the fire damage get doubled to two? Um, Seems like the only way to do it. I guess, yeah. I don't know. I was just I'm asking. gonna, uh, sure. Right. So that's eight fire damage for her. And then he takes. Oh, dub ones! Mm-mm. So that's six damage for the bugbear. But eight for the lady so drow. So the flames wreathe over the female drow and she falls to the ground dead, but after she does that, she transforms back into this creature of greenish skin with no features and no clothing. Mmm. Doppelganger. A doppelganger? Nobody likes her. This is terrible. That's not what I wanted at all. So now, Bugbear's angry. He's swinging. Does he get two attacks and I have no Ho 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 ho! That teetered on 20 again and went to a 2. Woo! Woo! So, like there is your turn. Alright, the goat is going to charge and get a 12. Miss. And I am going to charge and get a 16. Hit! Alright. Uh, for 10 damage. Okay. I mean, we already know we're way back up cave is. I guess we don't really need to question anybody okay. here. We just murder boat. Um, yeah. Attack. You think this bugbear is going to know anything? Probably not. Nice. Well, he was in charge. Yeah. yeah um, axe to meet you. <laughs> uh, that's a 24. Does it? Sure, not lethal. I'll figure it out later. Sure. Ten. Still alive. Oh. Oh, it's his turn. My bad. He's attacking Flint again. Man. He's just kidding. Three. Was it, a was it another teeter tatter? Yeah. All right. Uh, go. Mmm, 12 again. Me! Uh, 21. That's it. Nice non lethal! Uh, 13. Uh, down goes the uh, bugbear. I slap him in with the side of my blade. Oh, his he's... Head. Ha! And, and we'll, uh, we'll tie him up. Yeah. Because we still have yeah. the other we got one rope. to go check. We got rope. Yeah. Alright. Well, don't forget the unconscious dwarf in the room. Hmm, that's oh, true. Oh, yeah. Him. Mm. Yeah. I say, wake up! He's uh, not not that kind of unconscious. Oh, do we recognize him? 
Yes. Is it our friend? Is it yes. Gendron Rocktaker? Uh, At zero hit points. Ah, right. great. Well, I will uh, lay on hands for five points of health. Nice. Okay. I like the sound your lay on hand makes. Yeah, it's nice. It, that's Ilmater's lay on hands. He's pretty cool. I see. Uh, different deities make different sounds. I see. Um, so uh, also, there's also stuff in the room too. I don't know if you guys. Uh, well, first let's check on Gundren. Yeah. He is just beaten and hurting. I'm very thankful that you guys came to rescue him. And he says, you know, I appreciate this. Um, I'd like to get back to Phandalin, and then from there, I'd like to head to Wave Echo Cave because I'd like to know the fate of my brothers because I don't know where they are. Yeah, tell us, man. Definitely. Um, so if you could escort me back. We've actually got your weapon here. Oh, okay. We that's put yeah, a couple of cheese. Put a cheese. They're still yes. doing okay. We think. Uh, we left them out with our guard mastiff. Yeah. We just we just got one more room in here we wanted to check before we leave. Anything that you know about this place? Uh, sure? He says that he knows the Black Spider orchestra. Someone called the Black Spider orchestrated his capture and hopes that the that uh, and he hopes that you guys are able to defeat the Black Spider. Was it that lady drow who was in this room? No, that wasn't even a drow. No, it was a doppelganger. You know, I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna tie the bugbear. Bug bear. He's been unconscious for a while. Ah, uh, okay. Is he able to like stand guard over the bugbear? Yeah, the, the bugbear's the... X. And... Yeah, that's fine. All right. So there is. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in this room. Oh. Yeah, man. Anyone comes, just yell real loud. All right. Uh, um, there's this other door. Why don't you guys? Oh wait, let me give you experience first of all. Um, well, first of all, why don't you guys give me a perception check? Ooh. And you're detect magic no longer, is that correct? Correct. Aha! Perception. Boop, 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 20. Not natural. 13. A lot of calculating for such a long time. Yep. Uh, Theron, you see a, a small glint of something underneath a bed in the corner of the room. Huh. Well, I'm going to move the bed out of the way so okay. I can see it uh, better. There, there's a stitched leather sack on the floor. Hmm. Well, I'm going to pick it up and see what's inside. There is 220 silver pieces. What? 160 electrum pieces. Oh. What? Three potions of healing. What? Oh, you're terrible with those. Yeah. And Gundren's map of Wave Echo Cave. Oh, nice. yeah. Gundren, man, I found your map. Yep. So. They were hiding it underneath the bed. What a normal thing to do. Don't we still have um, case? This case. Yeah. yeah. We'll put his map in the, in the case. Yeah. I'm going to look at it a little bit first. Yeah. Sure. Just look map-like? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to study it with a two. Looks like a map. Nice. Put it in there. Nice. Pop it. Give it back to Gundren. Yeah. Let's go clear uh, that other room yeah. over there. And you have Gundren just holla. Yeah. You know what? I will leave with you a giant brown bear <laughs> to protect you. All right. Hmm. Um. This will be our brown bear. Some weird looking figure, man. That's yeah. definitely our bar. Uh, this it's is an armadillo. Ar ar armadillo looking. It's got the shell. Uh, uh, Alright, so you guys are heading to the south? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we go with us. We're gonna check out this okay. room over here. The upper floors of this tower have collapsed to create a hollow silo at least 30 feet high, and the upper reaches of the room are lost in shadows. Dust, rubble, and broken glass cover the floor, and old work tables and bookshelves lie strewn to the south. In the middle of the room is a hulking beast that looks like a mangy bear with an owl's head. It rears up and roars when it sees you. I oh. back out of the door and shut it. Okay. Do, okay. Do we, do we want to fight an owl bear right now? Um. I see no point in fighting an owl bear. Did you see anything in that room we wanted? Did I 
I see anything with a 14 perception? 15 perception? Um, actually, that's the exact DC. Um, on the second floor tower on a ledge, you noticed a wooden chest. There's a chest up there. All right, let's go to this owlbear. All right. <laughs> we'll send the goat in to charge at the owl bear. I think I have one... So we're going to have yeah, the goat be charging, open the door, and then have it charge through and attempt to hit the owl bear. Okay. I got one spell left. I've got... You have all of you. Left. Yeah, you see you. Have uh, I, I healed myself before, but yeah, I've got my smites left. Yeah. I got, I got one level two spell left. So, I'm uh, going to lay on hands my last little bit of lay on hands. Good call. Yeah. I have, I've healed all. Uh, we well, got those healing potions if yeah, you want. We just yeah. got three more. We yeah. just got three. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that, uh, I'm going to say, we'll roll for initiative right now. All right. Three. Eight. Wow. That's a pretty bad initiative that thing got there. Got a grand total of two, two, hard to lose, two, three. I'm gonna open the door and cast Guiding Bolt as a second level spell. Okay, hopefully you hit. Nice, 25. Does it hit? Nice. And that's an extra d6, that's 5d6. Going all rip guys. Oh, three ones. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, it takes the dragon bolt radiant damage. Does the dragon bolt do something else? Oh uh, yeah, it. Uh, the but next it, attack uh, has advantage. Huh? Yes, the next attack roll made against this target before the end of my next turn has uh, advantage. Okay. All right. Well, I will wait in. And attempt to smite the apple bear with my sword. Ah, 10 and 10. Uh, so 15. Or no, 16, sorry. Uh, that's it. Good. Good. And I will smite as well. So 10 for damage with an extra. Oh, six, 16 for me. Okay. And then the goat will charge in and attempt to knock over the apple bear with a 10. So that's probably going to miss. miss. Yeah. Now it's the owl bear turn, and the goat is right within arm's reach. Oh, well, yeah. Well, so are you. Yeah, that's well. The owl bear gets two attacks, so it'll bite with its beak the goat. The 24. That will hit. Doubling its AC. For six damage. Yeah, good job. And it's going to claw at you for 20. That will also hit. Do 17 damage. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's more that than uh, it's Flint's turn. <coughs> that's the sound that I make as I get hit. Um, I. Sacred Flight? Nothing. Sacred Flight! Sure. Attack with your axe. Or. Not be within the reach of this owl bear. Ah. And sacred flame. That's also a good plan. It fails. Woo! It's gonna take no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. One radiant damage. Quack, 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 quack. I will swing my sword at it uh, with a 10. So, goat will swing its horns at it with a uh, 17. Hit. All right, goat will do 13 damage. Nice. Seriously, you guys are be in serious trouble without that goat. I know. It goes badass. Uh, this goat is right. serious. It is its turn now. It's going to do the same thing. Uh, it's got an 18 on the goat. I will right, hit the goat. Four. 11 damage. Ah, the goat will disappear. No, don't see. And it will miss you. Great. That is what I could use for it to not hit me. What? I will wade in now that Goatsy is dead in a rage and attack with my axe. Eight. 
And a miss. Shit. Mm. I will attack. Uh, 18. That's it. All right, and I'm going to smite too. To do so, that is going to be 14 plus 11, 25. And down goes the bugbear. All right. How many hours? Whew, I am exhausted. Oh, I good at that. Yeah, yeah. Really but... good with swords. <sighs> oh, goatsy. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, uh, we, we gotta go get that chest. We gotta get that chest, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll say you guys can go get the chest. No problem. All right. Uh, it's unlocked. Inside cool. is ninety electrum pieces. Mm-hmm. And a hundred and twenty gold pieces. Yeah. A nice. potion of healing. Ooh. A scroll of silence. A scroll of revivify. Can I have a scroll of silence? Can you cast silence? In the yes, I can. It's a long scroll. I'm not sure if it was a clear scroll or not. Yes. You can also take the scroll of revivify. Well, pretty soon, uh, Jake there is going to get revivify. Am I? Nice yes. level. He's not going to get it. It's a third level spell. Oh. Oh, I got so a long way to go. So you're going to get it before he does. Okay. Just James never took it as a cleric. Oh! Clerics get it as a third level spell at level five. Oh, wow! That's a nice spell. Yeah, yeah oh. it's a great spell that great clerics spell. get at level five. Yeah. <laughs> Paladins don't get it till level like seven or eight. Wow. I will. Die. Wait, level five? Half cast or level ten? Yeah, level ten, I think, is when you get third level. When do you get third level spells? I don't know. Let's see right now. I get third level spells at level nine. Level nine. So I had to wait till nine to get a uh, resurrection in our game. He gets it. At five. James had it at five and never used it. Never once. Never well, even prepared it. Well, did no, anyone die? What? No one went down. True. Well, several people went down, but nobody died. Nobody, nobody died. died. No. I was the only one who used it. Uh, but well, anyway. uh, turning people back to the life with one health. I mean, that's boop. pretty serious. Uh, you guys get 350 for dealing with the owl there. I did not give. Did I give you experience for you the did other not. room? No. You said, let me give you experience for that other room, and we got off topic. And we, then we rushed out. So we're going to return to Gundren. Also, I assume. Oh, but we don't have. Now we just have a brown bear. Just a brown <laughs> bear. Just a brown bear. Stand a guard. Uh, you guys will get 475. All right. That, total will, that brings us up to 6,700 total. Is that level five? <gasps> that does mean level 5. And you'll get more experience if you successfully escort country back to Fandolin. All right. Well, I think... Shall we? We should, we should take a nap. <laughs> yeah. For an hour. I want to. I'm not afraid. Uh, that's a good point. It seems like this is an okay place. Uh, but first, let's let's check maybe out here. All right. And make sure there is. Yeah. First of all, I'm gonna send the brown bear through yeah. this little back door here. There's nothing. Uh, great. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah. So let's go get the cows. Bring them inside so they're not sitting out overnight. And the dog. And the dog, which will be nice to have. Yeah. And uh, we can set up in one of those. Uh, that, that one barracks room looked pretty tidy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say you guys can sit up there and uh, get your, uh, your long rest. All Ooh. right. And um, basically, I think we'll probably stop it here because this is a good yeah. stopping point. Um, it's a little bit earlier than usual, but it's a good place to stop. <laughs> and also... Leveled up. Get yourself leveled up. All right. So... With that, I'm going to say the official stream here is done, internet, so, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to stop the Lost My Hand Fandel, everything will cut here, so thank you for watching, um, and we're just going to hang around and leave this up while these guys level up, in case anybody has questions and whatnot, although it didn't seem like there was anybody actually here this time, I don't know. 
Um, but we'll see. we shall see. So oh, I get to strand that. Nice. John gave one half. That also means I get to destroy or was it banish? Banish, banish yeah. fiend, face celestial, or elemental. Oh, very cool. I get a second attack and second level spells. And I get third level spells. Yep. So, um, and health. Which yeah. is always and nice. health. Oh, I love health. Health's the best. So five. Yeah, you get your second attack and you get fine steed. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got a well, I got my brown bear. I could use this. But having a normal steed that doesn't well, they die. They get six intelligence and other stuff. Uh, cool. Um, so you get this. I don't know if you have it, Sean, but you get this spell magic and magic circle. As your fifth level, oh, thank you. I'm gonna write that down. So the spell magic and magic circle. Yep. I get misty step and moonbeam. There you go. Both good spells. That's awesome. That I always have dispel magic prepared. Yep. I really like the arcane domain. Wow. So I think I get nine health per level. Yeah. Five plus your con. Five plus con, which is three, plus, plus being a hell dwarf. So, nine. Yeah. So that's 40. Four. Next level, you get that thing where if you heal somebody, you can choose to end the effect of a spell on them. Nice. So, it looks like the main point of this. Uh, you're pretty much almost concluded with this adventure. Um, there was an option to have you be assaulted as soon as you leave, like as you're about to leave, but I don't think that it's worth it because you guys are doing a four-person thing with two people. Right. So I don't think hitting you with another three hobgoblins led by a more powerful hobgoblin that has two wolves as pets is useful. That might be... A sport you call. 1d4 of them carry bloody sacks, each containing a severed head of an elf. Oh, that's marked up. Yeah. You got the brown bear. <coughs> Excuse me. You just missed out. That would have been 250 experience had you. That's okay. We got, we got our level 5 where I'm happy. Fine speed. What is the lesser here? I gotta do some more work on my other spells I prepare. Yeah. Yeah. What is too many of them are concentration. Hmm. But now I can use my smites as a second level spell, right? Yep. Cool. So I add an extra three D eight. Great. Zone of truth. Okay. What is the zone of truth? Basically, it's a cone and nobody in it can't tell a lie that you, if they fail to save, but you know if they pass or fail. Cool. Ooh, Massey on board. Hmm. Looks like the next, like the main thing that's left is just. We need to go cave, right? Okay, that's it. That's the end of the. Uh, we'll have Gundren with us. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys still have the couple of things you're gonna go back and deal with at Vandalin. You have sure. to come back. You know, we gotta sleep. go talk to Sildar, and we oh, we gotta hit up the uh, orcs on the tr the, uh, the trail. Sure, trail. Trail. Yep, that was the last little bit. Those suckers. They don't know what's about to hit them. They have no idea. Do we have any idea? We just know a brown bear is going to hit them. Yup. And a mastiff. Well, I do have animate dead, so oh. zombos could hit them. Nice. But I might not want to waste a third level. I have two third level spells. I don't know if I want to waste one on yeah. animate dead. Yeah. I mean, I could have spirit guardians. Which is much better. Which is way better. Is the stow curse any good? No. No? Yeah. Beacon of Hope? I think it's okay. It's like a buffing spell or something. 
What else do you got? Um, choose a number of creatures within range. For the duration, each target has advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Yeah. Yeah. And remains uh, remains the maximum number of hit points possible from it. Oh, regains the maximum number of hit points possible from healing. Yeah. Which could be alright. Okay. Um, yeah. So I wrote down Animate Dead, Mass Healing Word, Revivify, and Spirit Guardians. Um, I'm just kind of using this. I'm writing down not a bunch, but a couple of the spells that I might want to prepare on a daily basis, and so I can switch them up. So those are the four I threw down. Um, I can also have Create Food and Water, Daylight, Dispel, I already have Dispel Magic, Feign Death, Glyph of Warding. Meld into stone, protection from energy, remove curse, sending, speak with dead, spirit, uh, spirit guardians, tongues, and water walk. Uh, I mean, tongues let you speak any language. Yeah. Speak with dead is potentially useful. Yeah. Most of them are all utility stuff, though. Yeah. Oh, we got that bugbear. Uh-huh. Still. He's all. Oh, tired. yeah. We should probably talk to him. Oh, he's on a trip. Could zone the truth of them. Might as well. Yeah. We did, uh, we were playing once, and I was my nose DM. And my friend, uh, Scott, was kind of drunk. And he zoned a truth the guy, and he kept on asking, like, you're not allowed to lie, but that doesn't mean you have to answer the question. Right. So um, be evasive. Yeah. I did that for like 20 minutes using it in real. <laughs> well, the thing is, you gotta add answer simple. You can't don't yes, ask no questions. opinionated questions, right? Because those can you can get there's loopholes. Did this happen? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where were you coming from? Originally, my mother. <laughs> so you didn't need. Where were you coming that. after that? Well, my homeland. My homeland. Like, Daggerford. Daggerford. Where were you right before you came in here? Outside this room. <laughs> Shit. Where were you before that? The hallway. What was your last location of interest previous to this castle? There was a nice tree. I there. thought outside. Yeah, I thought outside the castle was pretty interesting. Yeah, exactly. So, like, what did you have for breakfast? Tacos. Yeah, I answer. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta choose your questions carefully. Right. Do we. Time's up. Uh, eight minutes to 11. Eight minutes to 11? Alright. Yeah, I have nobody here. This far as I can tell. Or if they are, they're not answering or asking any questions. Cool. Yeah. So. I'm um, probably gonna call some early night then. Yeah, I think I'll probably. I mean, I would keep it up, but like I said last time we had, you know, keeps doing, asking questions nonstop. So. It was, uh, we had one person pop in and say hi, and then, like, the stream happened to crap out, like, at that exact moment. Oh. So it looks, it almost could look like, uh, we, we turned it off. Like, hey, like, hey, multiple foreign objects in the body. Oh, no, not this guy. If you're the guy yeah. from the operation oh, game, dude. you get operated on. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. If you're the guy from the operation game, you get operated on. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. If you're the guy from the operation game, you get operated on. It's what you do. If you want to